Okay, so here we are in GIMP, and what we're going to do to start is we're just going to create a new document. So we're going to go up here to File, we're going to hit New, and we'll just make it whatever size we want. Now here's the palette that we're going to be using. So what we can do over here is, first of all, you want to make sure that you have the color selected here in the foreground that you want to use for your shape or the outline of your shape. So we could use black, but just to show you that it does change, we could kind of give it a red color here. And we'll click OK. Now what we need to do is we need to select one of the shape tools. So we can either use the rectangle tool or the circle tool. So we can choose rectangle. And we're going to click and we're going to drag our shape wherever we want it to go. Now this is where it's different from Photoshop. In Photoshop, if you did this, you would actually see the shape and it would be colored in and it would already be there. It would already exist. But it doesn't yet exist in GIMP. So what we have to do is there's one last step. We have to go up here to edit and we have to say fill with either foreground color, which is going to be the red, or background color, which is going to be the white. Obviously, white's not going to show up, so we'll fill it with the foreground color. And you can see we now have a red rectangle on our screen. Let's say we just wanted to do the outline. We didn't want to actually fill in the entire shape. We could go ahead and draw our shape again. This time, we're going to go up to Edit, and we're going to hit Stroke Selection instead of Fill. And from here, we're going to say we want to do a solid color. And we can kind of decide everything up here, but we can also do use stroke with a paint tool. So we can choose the paintbrush tool, which is over here on the left, right over here. And it's going to use whatever color we currently have selected again. So we can go ahead and hit stroke, and you'll see that our circle now has an outer edge to it. If you want a more solid edge, you're going to want to use the pencil tool. So again, we can draw our shape, go up to edit, stroke selection. We're going to choose stroke with a paint tool. This time we will choose the pencil. Go ahead and stroke, and you can see there it is. Now you notice that this is a pretty thick border. So let's say we actually wanted to give it a border that isn't quite that thick. What we could do is we could actually go over to either our pencil or the paintbrush tool, whichever one, and we actually have to edit the settings for that tool. So we can go over here on the left, and we can make sure that size is set to 1. I think before it was set to, say, 20, which is why we got that real thick line. But if we change that to 1, here on our screen. Now we can go ahead and we can draw our shape, then go up to Edit, Stroke Selection, choose the Pencil Tool, hit Stroke, and now you'll see we get that nice thin border line around the edge. So that's how you can draw shapes here in GIMP, both shapes that are completely filled and ones with just the border. I hope this video helped. If it did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. If you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and sign up for my weekly newsletter on AnsonAlex.com. That's all I have for you for today. Again, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.